So you're thinking of moving to Orange County and Rancho Santa Margarita has caught your eye and you wanna know everything and anything there is to know about Rancho Santa Margarita, the pros and cons, good and bad. Basically, you wanna learn more about the area so you can make an informed decision before choosing to call RSM your new home. Well, in this video, we're gonna do just that. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know if Rancho Santa Margarita is right for you. Let's start with Rancho Santa Margarita being ranked the safest city in California for 2023. So Ranch San Margarita, also known as RSM, is what I'll be referring to it as throughout the video. Now, if you decide to move here, you will call it RSM too, because who wants to type or say Rancho Santa Margarita every time someone asks, where do you live? It's just easier to say RSM. Now, a great few things about living in RSM is you are 20 to 30 minutes away from a multitude of gorgeous beaches. San Clemente, Dana Point, Laguna Beach, Newport Beach, and Huntington Beach are just to name a few. Also, you are conveniently located 20 minutes from John Wayne Airport. So if you are someone who travels a lot but does not want to live in a big city environment, most of South Orange County is perfect for you. One of my favorite things about RSM is how pleasing it is when driving. In fact, a lot of times you'll be going down the road looking directly at Santiago Peak, but more commonly known here to residents as Saddleback Mountain, which has an elevation just under 5,700 feet. Now, if you compare that to RSM's elevation of 925 feet, it can be quite breathtaking with the mountain range in the background. Now, niche.com is a great website that does a great job of grading areas on a very fair scale. Ranch Santa Margarita got an amazing ranking, and here they are. Public schools got an A. Nightlife got a B. Diversity got an A. Weather, A+, plus. health and fitness, A, commute, B-, minus. housing, C-, minus. good for families, A, jobs, B-, minus. cost of living, C-, minus. outdoor activities, A. Now I mention all these as they play a large role in the pros and cons of living in RSM. Some quick stats before we jump into the meat of this video is the average rent is $2,276 and the average home value in RSM is $673,400. That is $400,000 more than the national average and it could possibly be why niche.com gave housing and cost of living a C-. Nearly 70% of residents own their home and RSM's population is 44,386 people with an average household income of just under $130,000. Now RSM has been highly ranked and as I said, named the safest city in California. The weather is amazing, tons of outdoor options, lots of great places to eat in RSM and nearby cities, amazing schools, there are a lot of pros about RSM, yet there are still some cons. And my goal for this video is to lay out the pros and cons and let you decide, is this somewhere you want to live? Hi, if this is your first time to the channel and want to know everything there is to know about Orange County, well, subscribe below, tap the bell so you can be the first to know. Whether that is our frequent market reports or just us telling you about different areas here in South Orange County. My name is Brooks Marr and my dad and business partner, Christopher, frequently get questions about the market here in Orange County or even do we know a good handyman as they need some repairs done at their home. At Mar Marketing Group, we try to be more than transactional realtors. We want to be your resource in any way we can before, during, and after any transaction. So if you ever have any questions about what it's like to live here in Orange County or even grow up here, we are the perfect people to ask as we have literally grown up here in Orange County. So feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text or email, or even book a free call that's convenient for you and we'd be happy to help. Now this specific video on RSM is very special to me because it's where I've grown up my entire life since I was one years old and understand it from many different life views. To start off, our first pro about RSM is the safety. And I could tell you all about the friendly neighbors, give you specific crime stats, which there is not much of, but I'm gonna keep this section brief. In 2022, RSM was ranked the second safest city in California. And this year in 2023, we are ranked the first safest city in California. I'm sure you can agree that kind of sums up how safe RSM is. Now our second pro for RSM is going to be access to parks and trails. When you live in RSM, you belong to the master association called Samlark, and that manages all the parks and green belts at RSM. Now they vary in size greatly from smaller neighborhood parks to large parks like you see here. Now this is perfect for anyone as there is a plethora of sports facilities, playgrounds, pools, basketball courts, uh, tennis and pickleball courts, volleyball courts, baseball fields, softball fields, in large grass fields where many of the youth sports around here are hosted. My Pop Warner practices were here at Solano Park, baseball practices here at Altissima, and as I got older, we moved to Canada Vista and to Harris Creek. AYSO soccer often uses all the fields and takes down the baseball field fences for the winter. I know all the local parks have our local youth sports held at them, and we are very lucky how close they all are. Most of the parks also have picnic shelters that you can reserve. Now, I spoke to the people at Samark while I was creating this video, and as long as you are RSM resident and a member of Samark, 
It doesn't cost any more than $30 when you have a large party of 25 people, so that's very reasonable. Also, four of the 13 parks have junior Olympic sized pools and two of them are heated during the winter. So if you enjoy swimming early, even on those 40 degree mornings, you'll be able to go to swim comfortably. Now, another great thing about all the parks in RSM is most of them have walking trail access, points both dirt and concrete, as well as sidewalks around the whole park. So if you enjoy walking or running designated trails, RSM has it. Also, most of the sidewalks have trash cans along them. So if you have a dog, please pick up after them. No one enjoys getting home to realize they well, stepped in something that was not dirt. Now, one of RSM's most known spots is RSM Lake with the beach club right next to it. In the summer, RSM Lake has small pedal boat rentals for San Mark members to enjoy. And RSM Lake is also a stock lake offering fishing for many species, including bass, carp, bluegill, catfish, and some other species. The Beach Club is another favorite of RSM residents as it gives you the beach setting without going all the way to the beach. Not that it's far, but sometimes, you know, there's a lot of traffic going to the beach. There are many reservation spots you can get for parties, family gatherings, and so on. The Beach Club is open for use during the summer season, generally May through October. Now we have a lot of pros in this video, but I do want to mention a few cons about RSM. Con number one is going to be the fee for Sam Lark or the Master Association fee. Most of the neighborhoods in RSM have their own association that manage that direct neighborhood. And on top of that, you're also a part of Sam Lark, which is another association fee. Many do not feel it's a con because with that, you get access to many things at RSM, specifically the pools at our local parks. And a big one many don't realize is the bathrooms at the parks, which are a key card lock for RSM residents only. Also, all the amazing planters, trees, and grass areas along the street, also maintained by Sam Lark. So yes, you do belong to another association, but that takes care of a lot that many do not even realize. Thought number two is going to be the cost of living. Orange County is by no means a cheap area to live and the RSA median home value aligns with that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the median home price is $673,400. That is over $400,000 more than the national average. Now, of course, there is a reason for this. What is the famous saying in real estate? Location, location, location. RSM is 20 minutes from the beach, got an A-plus rating in weather from niche.com, backs right up to the mountains, giving RSM great views, has an amazing community, and is ranked the safest city in California. There is a very good reason for why RSM is a very attractive area and has what is considered a high cost of living. Now, pro number three is going to be the excellent education system here in RSM. Saddleback Valley Unified School District, or SVUSD, is a highly rated district, and as you can see here, has an overall grade of an A. Now, I personally went to schools in SVUSD, and I can say I enjoyed them very much. The teachers were hopeful. I never felt like classes were so big I was being overlooked, and the schools were very nice. There are also a few private schools in RSM if you feel that is a route you would like to take. I actually went to one of the private schools in RSM, and I can say that was a very good school as well. If we go back to niche.com here, we see that academics are an A, teachers are an A minus, diversity is an A, and college prep is an A. A good story I have about a teacher going above and beyond is after sixth grade, Mrs. Brooks offered a summer math session to help a student who placed in the higher math level going into the seventh grade. Of course, when I was 11, I was told I had to ride my bike to class over the summer twice a week. I was not all too thrilled. Thankfully, math was one of my favorite subjects. So looking back on it, I now see she did not need to do that. Teachers have summers off. I think she just actually cared about us kids. Also, I had math teachers in middle and high school who allowed us to come in early for extra help when needed. My kindergarten teacher was also my sixth grade teacher, which shows teachers stick around around here. The education system is top notch and why it earned an A overall rating. Now for pro number four, I wanna talk about the beautiful scenery here in RSM. RSM is nestled in the foothills of the Santa Ana Mountains, providing a stunning natural backdrop for residents. Many streets in RSM give you great views of our picturesque mountains and green hills. One of my favorites in RSM to view the mountains is right here at RSM Lake. With the lake in the foreground, if you're doing a little evening fishing, what an amazing view you get to look at. And as I mentioned before, driving through RSM, you'll notice how well kept everything is and how green everything is. I tell people this often, but sometimes when I'm just driving home from the gym or a friend's house and I look around and see the mountains and the hills, green belts, parks, trails, I just think to myself how fortunate I was to grow up in such an amazing community with so much to offer. Now, pro number five is gonna be how close we are to the coast. And that means the beaches, some of the most well-known beaches, in fact. From San Clemente to Huntington Beach, you're only about 20 minutes away from some of the most iconic SoCal beaches you will ever see. 
Some other well-known beach cities that are actually closer than those two, because if you look at a map, you'll see RSM is in a line with Laguna Beach, and then Dana Point and Newport Beach, and on either side of Laguna Beach. Being this as close to the beach is a great, as you don't always need to plan to have a beach day. On any day, you can get up and decide, I feel like going to the beach, today to run, surf, paddleboard, or maybe even read a book on the beach. It doesn't matter. The simple fact is, you'll be so close to the beach, you can do that. And with the number of ocean view restaurants and hotels being this close, it has a ton to offer. Chart House in Dana Point and Skyloft in Laguna Beach are just two of my favorite restaurants with ocean views. And now lastly, con number three is going to be there is not what many would consider a nightlife here in RSM. The nightlife here in RSM is very limited compared to bigger cities, and most of the nightlife activities here in RSM are more curated toward family friendly. Now this may be a con for some, but if you're looking to start a family or move your family to RSM, that is definitely not a con. But I put it under the con section because some people would like to have more of a nightlife, and you can still live in RSM and be within 20 minutes of, of plenty of nightlife options. A popular nightlife spot very close to RSM is the Irvine Spectrum. With tons of dining options, shopping, entertainment, you still have plenty of options for nightlife less than 20 minutes away. And that is just to name one spot here in South Orange County. Now the next pro about RSM, which is number six, is a very important one, I believe, and is RSM has a very active community. The city of RSM holds many events and activities for its residents to come together and get to know each other and socialize. One of the big events many residents look forward to are the summer concerts at Central Park. With so much to do at Central Park, it's a great way for local neighbors to meet each other and interact with the community. They recently opened a small water park called the Splash Pad, which is great for little ones to get out there and have some summer fun without that big water park price and a big drive. But if you do want to go to a large water park, just a short drive away is Wild Rivers at the Great Park. Wild Rivers actually used to be located in Orange County, went away for a little while, but now it's back for us to enjoy. Now another very cool thing about RSM is the Bell Tower Foundation, also known as RSM Cares. This is a great community foundation that does a lot to benefit RSM and give back to our great community. My last pro, pro number seven, is going to be the quality of life here in RSM. Growing up in RSM was a real blessing, and as I get older, I really realize how truly fortunate I was. The people here are amazing. When I walk my dogs every day, majority of people smile and say hello or good morning. Now finding somewhere to eat here in RSM is no issue at all. Whether you wanted something to quick to pick up or you'd like to go for a nice dinner, like a sit down place. Now one place all RSM residents know is Wood Ranch. One of the main dishes I believe they are known for is their tri-tip, which is just top notch. I always get the tri-tip with the, uh, I think it's called Lawrence Mac and Cheese. And sometimes I get the mashed sweet potatoes or um, corn on the cob. It just kind of depends. Now RSM has multiple grocery stores, home improvement stores, and home decor stores. And when it comes to fun shopping, there is plenty of that in RSM as well. With multiple shopping centers, you'll have no problem going to find what you need. And as I've mentioned in this video, RSM is conveniently located right in between two large malls, one being outdoors and one being indoors. RSM is truly a great place to live. Being that I grew up here, I feel I'm able to give a perspective from multiple ages of life. And if you ever have any questions about living here in RSM or what it's like to grow up here in RSM, feel free to contact us through email, text, call, Instagram message, or even book a call in the link below. That way we can talk when it's convenient for you. I'd be happy to help. And if I don't have the answer to your question, I could definitely find out the answer to your question. With all that being said, Rancho San Margarita is an awesome area to live. It is very safe, has tons of outdoor activities, has an excellent education system, has an amazing eye appeal, uh, you're extremely close to the beach, has a strong and very active community, and has an amazing quality of life. Again, if you ever have any questions of anything in regards to Rancho Santa Margarita, I am very confident either myself or Christopher can answer any questions you may have. And if we do not have the answer, we'll find you the answer. As mentioned, you can reach out to us in any way, call, text, email, it's all down below. Now, if you watch this video, I'm sure you're considering if you should move to Ranch Santa Margarita. And I hope I was able to help answer any questions you may have and tell you more about this great city. Here at Mar Marketing Group, we plan to make more videos about other cities down here in South Orange County and be able to help you decide where you'd like to call home. Whether that is the market reports or the best places to eat here in South Orange County, we will tell you all about it. Now, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.